Okay, this problem we're looking at a car going off of a cliff. To make this a new wrinkle compared to what you did in class, I'm going to have the car start braking 50 meters before the edge of the cliff. The car has an initial speed of 30 meters per second, and we need to find what its speed will be when it leaves the cliff. Once we have that speed, we treat it just like we did all the ones in class. So what you need to do is draw the forces on the car when it's braking. We don't know what the mass of the car is, but we saw before mass doesn't affect stopping distance, so we can use any mass we want. So I'm going to use 1,000 kilograms. I find the force of gravity. I use that to find the force of friction, remembering that force gravity and force normal are equal. Once I have force friction, I use Newton's second law to find the acceleration when the car is slowing down. The force net will be the force friction. Once I have that acceleration, I could then use my basic motion equations to find the final speed of the car when it's braking. The car does not come to rest, but leaves the cliff at some speed. So this final speed that you get here will be the speed with which it starts being a projectile. So once we have that speed, we can then do the projectile part of the problem. We take the speed that we just found and put it in for the horizontal velocity. The vertical distance will be 20 meters. The initial vertical speed is zero because it leaves horizontally. And since we're on Earth, we use an acceleration of negative 9.8. Hopefully this is enough to get you started and actually successfully finding the answer. Again, you're trying to find the delta x.